steer clear. Sha. Boggy's crew after the battle part 10. Farewell to friends. He's back on his boat and he's paddling out to leave. As they're throwing the swords at him. <clears throat> Red shoes Zeph. So you're alive. A unique pirate to Captain Cook. Krieg says, So what if I'm alive? What's it to you? Now I'm a chef exclusively. Ha! You say it like it was a choice. But did you choose to be a cook? Or was being a pirate too much for you? Zep just looks at him frustrated. Looks like your red shoes days are behind you. Red shoes Zeph. Master of the deadly kick who never used his hands in battle. That awesome leg strength could smash bedrock. And even leave footprints and steel. The blood of your enemies dyed your shoes. Hence your unusual nickname. They say you died at sea. I see you didn't lose your life. But you did lose one of your precious legs, Sanji. Looks frustrated. I can't fight anymore, but I can cook long as I long as I have these two hands. What are you getting at? Spit it out. Red shoes, Seth. You once sailed that devil's nest, the Grand Line, but you returned unscathed. You kept a record of that voyage, a whole year's log. Give me your log book. You been to the Grand Line too, old man? I my logbook, eh? Yes, I still have it, but I won't give it to you. For me and the men who sailed with me, that logbook is a testament. I won't give it to the likes of you. Then I'll take it from you, Krieg says. It's true that I didn't succeed on the Grand Line, but I am Don Krieg, the mightiest of all. Weaklings do well to shun that dark route, but I had plenty of strength, ships and men, and ambition. Actually, before we continue, I'm going to get more music going. Let's continue on. Sorry about that. <laughs> the only thing I lacked was knowledge. That's what stopped me. I just didn't know enough. I'll have that log and this ship, too. You can't have it. This ship's all we've got in the world. Yeah, we've been cast out from everywhere else. Chef Seth is our savior. He took us in when no one else would. We won't let you take our ship, the workers are saying. Puny fools, no one can defy me. Grr. You've seen that. I'm the strongest of all. I'll take Zeph's log to assemble another armada, capture the One Piece, and lord it over great age of the pirate er, over this great age of pirates to hold it Luffy says as he pulls off with that screen with her bed well that um that <sighs> towel that he had to run him I'm going to be king of the pirates he was he was working on chore boy they all say Sanji just looks at him like with a stunned kind of stay out of this kid he'll murder you Patty says, I can't. Luffy says, not not out of this. Did you say something, boy? Creek says, don't you want to take that back? Nope. I want. I, I was only stating the facts, Luffy says. This isn't a game, Creek says, obviously. Luffy says, weren't you listening? The Grand Line was too much for even, or even for Creek, they said. The, the, or the, the cooks all are saying, can't we just call it off? Going there is suicide. Quiet. Stay out of this. Time to fight Luffy to doom. I'll lend a hand, Zoro says. And Usopp's getting ready to come too. Zora, Usopp, you guys are here? Nah, I can handle this. Ha 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 ha, Creek says. Ha 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 ha. That's your crew? Pretty thin, ain't it? Wrong. There are two more. Don't come me in. Fuck. <laughs> he just sits down and Sanji does. Don't be so cocksure, kid. I had a fleet and 5,000 men. In seven days, we were smashed to bits in that demon sea. That's what Krieg tells him. Seven days? Krieg's armada was destroyed so quickly. What could have done it? Did you hear 
That's that 50 ships in one week sounds interesting. Reckless imp impotence, but you're not funny. Watch your mouth, or I'll kill you right now. Creek says, Krish, now listen carefully. I'll give you a chance. I'm taking this food to the men on my ship, then I'm coming back. Anyone who doesn't want to die had better be gone when I return. All I want is the captain's log and the ship. But if you're eager to die, wait for me. I'll bury you at sea. It's your choice. Creek says as he walks out with the big bag of food. Heading back to the ship. Sanji, forgive me. I didn't think. Jin says. He would do this. I, I. It's not all your fault, Swabby. Huh, chef? The cooks helped to bring this on us as well. Chef, are you siding with Sanji? You crazy? He's the guy who started all the, this trouble. Patty says, Sanji wants to destroy your precious restaurant. Don't you, Sanji. You'd do anything to be the head chef. Either that or you're insane, which is it? Shut up, you eggplants. Has any of you ever really been hungry before? Have you gone for days without food and water on the high seas? Zeph says. Do you have any idea what agony that is? Sanji just looks very serious. Huh. So what, Chef? He's, um, I think he's trying to smoke, a, smoke one of his cigarettes. If you're going to keep moaning, then just head out the back door. Kirk, I'll stay and fight, Patty says. I can't I, I, I can't stand to let Creek have that his way. Me neither. This restaurant is my home. Yeah, I got nowhere else to go. What are you fools? You saw what Creek can do. You'd better run. Jin, listen to me. As a cook, I consider it my duty to feed the hungry. Sanji says, but soon I'll be facing plunderers with full stomachs to So if I have to beat your mates to death, don't complain, Sanji says. If they try to take over the ship, I'll slaughter them without mer mercy, and that goes for you too. Got that? Gulp. Huh. First you save them, then you kill them. Good idea, Sanji. Be quiet, crap cooker, Sanji says. See, he's tough, huh? Luffy's talking to Usopp. Who cares? We gotta get out of here. Relax. They're wounded and starving. Sora says. Yeah, besides, I've got to fight Kree. He's a powerful rival. I'll have to take him down sometime. By the way, Jin, I... You said... Um, Luffy says. You said you didn't know anything about the Grand Line, but you've been there. I know nothing. It's all a crazy fog. Something happened on our seventh day out. But was it a dream or reality? It's all mixed up in my head. He appeared to so suddenly. Just one day. How could one man scupper 50 ships? What? Impossible. They all are shocked. Even Luffy that time in the face just face. His jaw dropped. <laughs> Krieg's armada was destroyed by one man. Before we knew it, our ships were sinking one after the other. If that storm hadn't come up, He'd have sent the flagship to the bottom, too. I'm not sure how many ships survived. It was terrible. I can't believe it was real. I don't want to remember that man. That man with the piercing hawk eyes. Eyes that could kill with a glance. What? Zoro looks over. Does he know? I think. I'm not sure if Zoro knows hawk eyes at this point. But I cannot wait for hawk eyes to, to show up. Oh, yeah. That's going to be exciting. So there's nothing more here at the end of this chapter. So we'll just quickly discuss it. So right now, um, Don Creek has taken that huge amount of food back to his shipping. And I'm going to come back and obviously try to get his hands on what he wanted. <laughs> um, yeah, this should be an epic fight coming up. So I can't wait. We're going to move to the next chapter, chapter 49. So we'll stop recording here and start up.